What is going on y'all? This is Woody once again. It is about 5 in the morning and I'm about to head out to the Golden Isles around the Brunswick, uh, Jekyll Island area and check out uh, hopefully a new spot. You know, I know y'all, some of y'all see me traveling, traveling to different places a lot and this is something I like to do. I like to travel. If I don't catch any fish, oh well, that's what I work for so I can travel and catch fish. I like to go to Florida a lot so Sometimes y'all may see me in Florida. Sometimes y'all may see me in Maryland. I got family in Maryland. My mom's down there, but um, I like to travel. So even if I don't catch fish or big fish, little fish, I don't care what type of fish. I just like to travel and uh, get away from the uh, Pueblo Savannah area. Go try different things, see different things, meet new people. I just enjoy the scenery. I enjoy seeing new things. So just let it be known that, you know, even if I don't catch nothing, I still enjoy it in life. So. Just had to get that out there. All right, later. Hey everyone, uh, I'm on my final stretch to the uh, Golds Inlet Public Beach Access Point, and it's spelled G O U L D apostrophe S. So I probably said it wrong, but uh, that's where I'm headed to. It's an inlet right on the uh, in the Golden Isles. Yeah, it's basically St. Simons is where the area I'm at, St. Simons, Georgia, and this is uh, the inlet I'm going to. So this is the farm stretch. Just showing y'all what you'll uh, see when you if you decide to come here. So it looks kind of uh, floundery, you know. Should have some flounder. This is my first time ever coming here. I just wanted to uh, try it out and uh, try new locations. So looked on Google Maps and uh, trying to see what I see in the area see if i can uh, find some uh good fishing spots so this looks like one of them and uh i'm gonna check it out if i don't I mean, i'm not successful i'm gonna go to my area was it last week in 1000 so, uh, feet your Jekyll destination Island. will be on the right so it looks pretty promising a lot of bike riders and uh, joggers out here this morning There's a lot of people here already. You gotta get here early because you won't find a parking spot if you don't. Yeah. Your destination is on the right. Let's see, here go parking spot right here. But yeah. Basically, this is where I'm at. To try, inlet area right here, nice and peaceful. Take that sea island over there, and uh, you can walk a same part, you can walk across this to get to the next island. It's very nice out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to throw a line out and see what happens. So stay tuned. We're gonna head down to, once again, we're uh, at Gold's Inlet here in St. Thomas, Georgia. Gonna see if we can get some flounder. It looks like it will have some. A lot of tidal pools up there. There's a lot of them. So I guess it leads over there. I guess we'll start by, uh, I want to get by a tidal pool where it's going inside the water. Like somebody already beat me to the spot. Never been here before. So it's, this is new to me. So I'm gonna be just testing the waters. I don't know how far this tide come up, so we gotta be careful. 
guess I'll just try right here for now and see what it does. I don't have an idea. I'm just gonna go down here and try it out. What it look like? It's moving pretty fast. Okay, y'all, we got the first fish of the day. First fish of the day, let's see what it is. Needs to be something good. Oh, man. Oh, this may not be a good day. Fresh fish of the day is a catfish. I got a pretty good hit this time, but my gut is telling me it's another catfish. Fish should be coming in the inlet soon. I think tide's coming in. Yep, it's another catfish. This usually happens around here during low tide. You get these hard head catfish. But uh they'll stop start stop to uh, bite soon. It's something you guys just deal with. That's fishing. Alright. I think this is a good size white right here. I think this may be a bull biting, y'all. Could be a stingray. Yeah, stingray. Alright, got a good fish on there, y'all. Got a good fish. Doesn't feel like a white. Only a matter of time. Oh man, nope, catfish. All right, y'all. Um, I have a disclaimer. If I don't catch any good fish out of here, where I'm at now, this is going to be a uh, how to catch a trash fish video. So anybody who wants to know how to catch a trash fish, this will be the video to watch. So I'm just trying to give this place a chance. You know, it's my first time coming here. Like trying to give it, give it the benefit of the doubt, so I'm gonna hang in there. Right. Here we go again, another trash fish. Maybe I get a real fish if I say it's a trash fish. Come on in here, Mr. Stingray. I know it's you. Yep, should know. Just put my pole pole in the water, so I had to run in the water and get it. I think it just. Oh man! Ooh, he got off whatever it was. Pulled out the sand and everything. I saw like two tugs and that was it. It's just take off. Man. Alright y'all. Whatever it was that took off with my rod and put my rod in the water, this is what the hook looked like. This is why I missed that fish. Cause I grabbed the line, but it, this is what it did to my hook. Straight up bent it. So now I'm gonna have to place this leader with a new one. 
I've set the drag. So here's my pole now screaming right there. All right, y'all, this is what I like to see right here. This is what I like to see. Let's see if we bend it over again. But yeah, there you go. That's what I want to see. The fish is on there. He ain't going nowhere. But he had my drag screaming, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull him in and see what he is. There you go. Yeah, he, he want to get out the water. Small white and I don't know what this is, it's probably a stingray. <laughs> yeah. Rod in the water, huh? I don't need none. No. All right, thank you. There you go. That was a good fight. Thought he was getting away. There he is, he's not moving too much. There you go, man, he's starting to fight back. again here we go again never fails more stingrays yeah, this is worth a fight worthy fighter right here give me a go for my money Worth the workout, y'all. If y'all need a workout, come here. Practice your uh, your big game techniques. Sting rays with simulator shark. Stuart monster right here. Oh man. Yeah, I'm not touching that stinger. You get poked with that thing, you're done. So 
pieces of the big stingray that they got right here. I'm gonna put them back in the water. Got a spot. Got spots right there. In the beach. This thing ready to get eight. Man, yeah, I said I did. It was stingray. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna eat that one. <laughs> I set this one up for a big fish, so I'm getting a bite. So I think I got it now. Trying to get me a big stingray at least. This is the big one right here. This is a small one. Shark right there. Five hand shark. This one a bonnet head. Yeah. It looks like a hammerhead though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, it's not a hammerhead? Nah. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a bonnet head. They call these bonnet, bonnet heads. Head. Oh, how funny. Yeah. The hammerhead is wider. It comes out wider. Yeah, the hammerhead uh, comes out more than that. Now. Yeah. How do you get the hook out of that? Oh, I pull it out. <laughs> yeah. Causeway. We basically caught trash fish here. It was fun, but you know what? It's alright. They got a lot of fiddlers down there. I already caught some already. You see them feeding down there. So if you need fiddlers, you're down here. That's where they come. Alright y'all, um, right now I'm at the Torres Causeway and uh, it's just like the last place I went to with the bridge in the middle of the creek so I'm not sure which uh, creek this is but I'll find out, if I find out I'll let y'all know so go ahead and give this a try and see what we do Alright later Alright y'all, this is the Torres Causeway you probably seen me here before but yeah Guess you can go down there if you want to try for some sheep's head, but I'm not going down there. 
and get stuck. Yeah, I'm definitely not going there because you get stuck. <laughs> right there, I think. But you can get jump. Yeah, I'm just going, I'm just fishing straight down here for sheep's head to see if I can get them. But, uh, yep, I got two sides to it. That's where we tore them last time. I caught a bunch of white. It's raining a little bit. See the clouds right there, so hopefully it ain't going to be that bad. Yep. We'll see. Action. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's a fish. Uh-oh. Nice size croaker. Not nice size, but it's a croaker. This is a fish, better than last time. On this lie, I don't know what it is. Oh, jeez, that's real nice. Big croakers. Okay. They bite nice over here. Size ones. Yep. Decent size croakers. Some of them. Just see me throwing fish back. Now he was waiting for me to catch another one. Yellow tail. Right here, he wants a yellow tail. So here you go, bird. That's what he wants. He looks like he ain't eating days. the whole thing. Alrighty then. He ate the whole thing. I think that's a whiten. Yep, that is a whiten. No, that's a croaker. That's a croaker. Alright, straight down. Not too bad, boy. Straight down. White. Nice size. Golden white. Oh yeah. If y'all ever see these things, they don't hurt the fish, just take them off. Little sea creature. They're good to go. Alright. Get something with some weight on it. Oh yeah. Nice old what's that? Croker? Nice old croaker or white. One of them. Some weight on it though. Mm, nice size croaker. Yeah, nice size croaker right there. Got some weight. Ouch! Ouch! Be careful on gill plates. Got in there so far. Still looking pretty nice right now. Another one. Oh man. I guess so. I think this may be a black drum. This may be a black drum right here. I was feeding the birds and they all lined up. Oh my god, it's a big old toefish. Bet you don't eat this. Big old giant toefish. They don't eat that. Look at them all lined up. I was feeding the fish, the little yellow tail. They all wait for a meal. One second, guys. I got y'all. Get this toad fish off my line. Big old toad fish. Mean sucker. Yep. 
Got him. Good old white. I think. Oh, that's a small croaker. It's just a small croaker. It's been a while. I got another one. Nice ass one. Croaker. Is that a white? Is that a white? Nope, broken. I have something, didn't even know it. Another toad fish. Okay. okay, a little fight to it. I see why I had a little fight to it. A little teeny croaker. Yeah, I hooked something. Oh, everybody left. Got the whole pier to myself. And not catching any fish right now. Let's see, give y'all a little update. This is what I got so far. So yep, that's what I got. to get up out of here you see those dark clouds over there i think they're coming this way because they didn't come this way earlier same thing happened to me last time dark clouds start coming and the rain start pouring and storm i don't see any lightning coming from me yet but i'm sure it is some in there so i'm gonna start prepping up to head out see where this storm gonna move Good hit that time. Let's see what it is. Okay, nice size white. That's what I'm looking for. Get you need to stay on. That's what I want right there. Looks like a small croaker. Yeah. So it's my the whole fish. It's about to rain. I'm about to, I gotta get out of here. It's about to rain. It's about to pour down hard. Just when the fish are starting to bite too. I may just sit in my car. I don't know. I don't know I gotta get out of here now because all them clouds over there. Nothing but rain. And a big fish start biting. That's how it always is. Rain comes, big fish start biting. up in the car I did that I just went through my line out I think it's 
spot. Come on, those spots. It's raining cats and dogs. I'm getting out of here. Ooh, man. Yeah, I'm going home. It's been fun, but uh, yeah, I'm not doing this uh, rain. It feels good though, cause it was kind of hot. So if I don't wait and uh, fish again, I'll see y'all next time I go fishing. All right, later.